eyed an alarming statistic. One in 30 baby boomers is infected with hepatitis C, and most don't even know it. In fact, the number of cases in Colorado are increasing as well. This disease transmitted through blood can survive for three weeks on surfaces at room temperature. And Denver 7's Jackie Crea spoke with a woman living with hep C. And this is beyond people born between what, 60, no, 46 and 64. Right. And so experts worry that most baby boomers don't even realize that they have the disease. Now it's caused by a virus that attacks the liver. And while doctors are trying to get a handle on one epidemic, another is developing blood believe it or not, and it coincides with the growing opioid abuse. There's really no words to say in the final hours. It's, it's a painful disease. It's not a way to go. Kimberly Bosley lost her mom to hepatitis C, but she's beat it too. Both my mom and I were infected um, at birth uh, during a blood transfusion that later we learned in 2005 was tainted with hepatitis C. Before the early 90s, blood supplies in the U.S. were not screened for hepatitis C. That's partly why two-thirds of people living with the disease are baby boomers. And according to the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment, there's a new push for screening. If we can diagnose and treat enough people living with hepatitis C, what we're doing in, in technical terms is re reducing the reservoir. Many don't show symptoms until the late stages. Maybe 25% of people will show symptoms fever, nausea, vomiting, yellow skin, jaundice, um, other, other symptoms of their infection, but most won't even know that they've acquired hepatitis C. And for years, the treatments were almost unbearable. Kimberly tried them until a clinical trial came through. Now there have been major advances made, but still a risk as more cases pop up with opioid abuse growing. It's not just heroin. It's not just limited to, to those counties where we're seeing a lot of heroin overdose deaths, um, but it's related to the overall trends in opioid opioid use in Colorado. Kimberly started a foundation named after her late mother, the Bonnie Morgan Foundation for HCV to help spread awareness. She's been officially cured and she wants the same opportunity for others. I just made it my mission to put a face to hep C and to let people know that the earlier the detection, the better. Okay, so if you're a baby boomer, as we've already said, born between 1945 and 1965, get tested. Also, the CDC recommends anybody currently or has ever injected drugs to get tested. We've got so much more information on our website at thedenverchannel.com. Yeah, an important topic. Thank you, Jackie. Lots to consider. Thank you, Jackie. And as Jackie mentioned, there are many new treatment options, yet the cost is very expensive and Medicare does not cover it all. One of them, Sovaldi, costs $1,000 for each individual pill. Copay assistance cards are available, but you cannot use one if you are on Medicare.